Hello guys and welcome back, today I will be conducting a comparison of my two latest soda can jet engines, so stay tuned. Starting off with the first model, what you may notice is that I decided to use a much narrow soda can for its housing as opposed to this model which has a much more wider diameter and a bit shorter height, and that's because of their various designs functionality and abilities of the various engines which you will get to understand shortly. As I mentioned earlier, the reason why there is a difference in diameter in these engines housing all comes down to the fact that these engines runs on different designs of compressors. As you can see, I'm currently working on the first engine model which happens to have a three-stage axial compressor, and my latest model here was made to run on a single-stage centrifugal compressor. Which brings us to a point where we may likely understand why these engines housing were built differently. In case you still don't understand, the reason why the engine with the centrifugal compressor happens to have a wider housing is because the centrifugal compressor, as its name implies, was designed to suck air from the intake of the jet engine and forces it radially through a dedicated diffuser concentrically aligned to the compressor to help get compressed air to the combustion chamber at high pressure, thereby requiring a wider housing to hold both the compressor and its diffuser vertically in the jet engine. Whereas the axial compressor that was designed to suck in a linear stream of air directed by stator vanes down to the combustion chamber without its compressors needing to be concentrically aligned inside its diffuser for air to be compressed and sent to the combustion chamber. Moving over to the diffuser of my latest jet engine, as you can see, I'm carefully trying to make a perfect ring of wood which the diffuser holes would then be made from for proper air compression and direction. Now I'm making the centrifugal compressor housing to help pass air through to the combustion chamber. JLCPCB is a one-stop electronic manufacturing platform providing services for PCB prototyping to help bring your ideas to reality. Ordering PCB from JLCPCB is really easy. Just upload your Gobble file to get instant codes and order in minutes as easy as online shopping. You can also get 1-8 to eight layer PCB for just $2. JLCPCB offers efficient large-scale production, thereby reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. When you order on JLCPCB, the quality and lead time is reliable with all in-house production, ensuring quality, stability and street quality can join every process, coupled with a rapid turnaround lighting fast PCB production in just 24 hours. You can also get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCB for just $5 plus 2 micro inch electroless nickel immersive gold finish and no engineering fee for VR impaid. Whereas in this design, I'm trying to make the stator vanes for the axial compressor, which would aid air compression and help give a more precise compressed air stream to the combustion chamber. Now, I'm trying to sketch out a guide on how my stator vanes would be assembled with all stator vanes fins placed at right angles, so as to ensure the airflow is getting to the next compressor blades at a proper angle before diffusing into the combustion chamber. Now is time for the real deal. Finally, we've got to the part where all the magic happens, the combustion chamber. The combustion chamber, or combustor, is the part of a jet engine where high pressure air from the compressor is mixed with fuel ignited and burned. This combustion increases the temperature and energy of the airflow, which is then expanded through the turbine and exhaust nozzle to produce thrust. The compressed air exits the diffuser section of the centrifugal compressor. It is routed into a plenum or diffuser manifold, which evenly distributes the airflow around or into the combustion chambers. Unlike a centrifugal compressor, which throws air outward radially, an axial compressor keeps the airflow moving in a straight axial path through a series of rotating and stationary blades called stator vanes. Although the most significant difference between my two jet engine models lies in the type of compressor each one uses, one features a centrifugal compressor, while the other utilizes an axial compressor. This fundamental distinction impacts how air is compressed and delivered to the combustion chamber, influencing the engine's overall performance, size, efficiency, and application suitability. But it doesn't end there. I also improved the overall air intake and increased the pressure ratio of my jet engine. I added two axial compressor stages in front of the existing centrifugal compressor. The axial stages serve to progressively compress the incoming air before it reaches the centrifugal stage, thereby raising the density and pressure of the airflow entering the main compression system. This hybrid configuration takes advantage of the axial compressor's ability to handle high volumes of air efficiently across multiple stages, while still utilizing the centrifugal compressor's strength in achieving a substantial pressure increase in a compact space. By combining these two types of compressors in series, 
the engine benefits from improved overall compression efficiency, increased airflow mass, and potentially increasing the engine's performance.